This here is the Smart Hashtag One and it's actually one of the fastest selling electric vehicles in Malaysia. Smart actually targeted to sell a thousand units for the whole of 2024 but they've actually managed to get a thousand bookings in just the first month itself. And you know what? I think that's deservedly so because this is truly one of the most well-suited EVs for Malaysian roads. Let me tell you why in this video. First things first, one of the biggest concerns among Malaysians when it comes to electric vehicles is definitely its range. It certainly does not help that a lot of car brands here in Malaysia are making silly claims about their ranges, you know, saying the car can go up to 500 kilometers when in the real world it can barely reach 400. Smart, on the other hand, is taking the right way forward by only using its WLTP claim. That is by far the most realistic test cycle, far more so than NEDC or CLTC or even you know, internal claims and so on. So officially, the Hashtag One Premium can do 440 kilometers on a single charge, but having driven it for almost 400 kilometers for my review, I've actually managed to exceed its maximum range. I've averaged a power efficiency of just 13.2 kilowatts per 100 kilometers, and that translates to a maximum range of around 470 kilometers. Under promise and then over deliver, that's definitely the right way to go. And when it comes to charging the battery again, the Hashtag One is one of the best in the business. Most EVs nowadays have an onboard AC charger of just 7 kilowatts, while a few others have up to 11 kilowatts. The Smart, however, has doubled, tripled that at up to 22 kilowatts AC charging. That makes a massive difference. It means you can charge it up to full in just one morning instead of taking the entire night. That adds a lot when it comes to user convenience. Same story with DC fast charging on highways as well. This can take up to 150 kilowatts. You can go from 10 to 80% SOC in less than 30 minutes. And speaking of charging on the highways or using public chargers in general, the Hashtag One has the absolute best integration of the local charging network here in Malaysia. As you can see on this screen over here, this car can tell how far it can go within Malaysia with the actual state of charge it has right now. For instance, it's got 94% of battery right now and it can comfortably go to either Kuantan or Ipoh. As you can see, it's all within the green zone. It can just about reach Johor Bahru or even Penang as well, but those two are within the yellow zones, as in you'll get there, but you may not have enough charge to roam around once you reach your destination. So in this case, I've set the navigation to Penang, and the car is recommending me that I make a quick charge stop somewhere in Gantang along the highways. This is the only car in Malaysia that can make these recommendations because it has access to 70% of all the public charges in Malaysia within its head unit. Cars like say Tesla may have access to its supercharger networks, that's only a couple of charges, but here it has full access to Jentari, Jom Charge and Charge EV chargers across Malaysia. That's 70% of all chargers in the country or around a thousand chargers in total. When it comes to EVs, especially when it comes to traveling long distances, it usually requires pre-planning before your trip, how far the car can go comfortably and where you should make your charge stops. Usually that involves the use of an app called ABRP or a better route planner that maps out where you should charge and for how long. But with the smart hashtag one, you can just forget that map and use the car itself to tell you where you should charge the car. And that also solves one of the biggest issues with EV owners here in Malaysia having way too many apps to manage charging on the road. With the smart, however, you no longer need plug share, you don't need ABRP anymore, and you can even forego settle, jom charge, and charge EV because you can actually pay for charging using the Hello Smart app. Now, that is super convenient. 
More than that, you also get a free data connectivity package for five years instead of just one month. And you also have a native Spotify app within the head unit. But if you're just so used to using Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, the car's got you covered as well. Plus, it is also completely wireless. Other conventional features that this car has over a Tesla, for instance, also includes a full 360 degree cameras, a signal stock, a head up display, a proper instrument cluster, and of course, a gear selector on the right side, exactly the same as a Mercedes Benz. And speaking of the German brand, Smart has a real connection to Mercedes Benz. Smart is now a JV between Mercedes Benz and Geely. So on the outside, the hashtag one is actually fully designed by Mercedes Benz designers. I think it looks great, really fashionable and quirky as well. The best part is you can actually have it in any color you want. You want it in blue, red, yellow, green, whatever it is, they've got you covered. In other markets, this car actually carries a design by Mercedes-Benz badge on the side. And then when it comes to the Geely side of things, the hashtag one is built on Geely's own SEA dedicated EV platform that is also used on premium brands such as Lotus and Volvo. In fact, this exact platform, the SEA2, is also shared with Volvo's latest EX30. So the hashtag one doesn't just claim to be a premium car, it actually is. And here in Malaysia, it's marketed as one as well. You can even buy it in a Mercedes-Benz showroom to get the full entire premium car ownership experience. Beyond all that, the smart hashtag one is also a really good EV to begin with. It is extremely efficient, as I've mentioned. It's also fun to drive, it's really comfortable, and it's just about the perfect size to drive on Malaysian roads, especially in the city. Add to that smart's uncompromising approach to safety and you really do get a full, complete package over here. The full ADAS active safety systems, including the advanced level 2.5 semi-autonomous driving features, are fitted as standard across the entire range. You don't have to pay extra for it whatsoever. And even when it comes to passive safety, the hashtag one is impressive. It has seven airbags, including a front center airbag. A lot of car brands offer this feature in markets like Australia and in Europe, but they would drop it completely here in Malaysia. Smart, however, is offering the complete package for Malaysian buyers. I'll have more to say in my full review of this car coming up very soon, but for now, I leave you with this. The Smart Hashtag One is easily one of the better EVs you can buy in Malaysia today. Do you agree or disagree with me on this? Do let me know in the comments section below. For now, thank you for watching everyone and stay safe.